Coming up on this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly, Spring Fling, VEI, and Water Polo. All that and more, coming up next. Hi, welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. I'm your host, Grace Collins. Many people freak out about asking their dates to Spring Fling. Peyton has the answers to your problems. With Spring Fling only nine days away, there are countless ways to ask your date to the dance. I think something that makes Spring Fling special is that it's not like a lot of other dances. I think that we expect a lot out of homecoming, like it's the big deal, it's the big dance of the year. And then Spring Fling's more of like, if you want to go with like a nice group of friends or if you just want it to be a little bit more relaxed, then I think that's kind of what Spring Fling's for. I think it's not really a big deal to ask a guy because really, like, what's the worst that could happen? Like, if, if you ask the right person, you know they're probably going to say yes. I think something that eases the stress is thinking that it's just an ask. You can have a poster or a hobby or a pun or anything that might relate to someone. Plan maybe decorating their room or going to an event that they have or meeting up with their friends and planning something. I think once you think about it and plan it all out, it kind of eases your mind thinking this is the plan, this is what's going to happen, and this is how it's going to go. Everyone likes a good poster and they can like keep it if they want. And I always get some friends together and tell them the idea like a couple weeks before and make sure that they're on board with it. Food incorporated in asking is a great idea. Guys love food, so I mean, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> and here's another idea. Doug Smith, will you go to Spring Fling with me? And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Peyton Damschke. The chess team made Niqua history two weeks ago. Scott slides into the story. The Niqua Valley chess team has recently taken seventh at state. It means a lot for us to go to state and do that well because no one at Niqua has ever done that well at state and we worked really, really hard for it and we, we pulled together as a team in the end and was able to do it. In this corner, weighing in at over 2,000 pounds collectively, the Niqua Valley Chess Team. Let's get ready to rumble! And what a move! And by knockout, the Niqua Valley Chess Team are the seventh place state champions. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Scott Strong. Hearing of males and beauty pageants is a little taboo. Paige takes a look into the bronze and beauty of the males at Niqua Valley. Mr. NVHS is a male beauty pageant for senior boys here at Niqua, where they're given a chance to impress the crowd and judges on their beauty and talents. There's going to be a variety of guys, so you can expect a lot of personalities, a lot of different talents, and just, just about everything. <laughs> Only one male student is given the title of Mr. NVHS. The honor is extraordinary. If I was Mr. NVHS, I would start screaming. Um, I would thank my parents, my mom, my dad, all of my friends. So basically my mom and my dad. To be Mr. NVHS, honestly, like it's huge. Because it's kind of a family thing. My dad was... Uh, Mr. Bureau Valley, his high school, and my grandpa and great-grandfather were both Mr. Bennett. So it's a legacy. It's a big thing. I need to come away with it. The competition is always very intense, and the eight contestants can only dream of what it would be like to win. I feel like if I get Mr. NVHS, then I've made it, and I'm there at the top. Well, I'd probably uh, take all my friends and supporters out to Johnny Rockets and endless root beer floats on me. Make sure to come out to Mr. NVHS March 5th at 7 p.m. You can purchase tickets for $5 at the door. Good luck to the eight seniors competing, and for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Paige Blanzy. VEI is a class that simulates a global business environment. Julia has more. VEI is a fairly new course in EQUA that gives students real-world experience in a global business environment by helping students develop business and professional skills. 
Uh, really what VEI is, is a simulated business class from the classroom where the students have complete freedom and opportunity to create a business from scratch. So they create a logo, a product line, and everybody has their own specific job and responsibilities, and we all come together and create a business. This year-long honors level course fosters hard work and cooperation between each business. Affinity, we specialize selling customizable and high-tech contact lenses. So consumers have the opportunity to implement their own customized design or pick from one of the designs we already have pre-made. Well, we had this reopening ribbon ceremony uh, just to kind of kick off the year and just kind of celebrate how much progress we've made and uh, how much we've been able to accomplish this year and how much we also hope to accomplish. And it was great to have Mayor Pradle here to help us celebrate. Congratulations to all the VEI companies, such as Spectrum, Affinity, and Legacy. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Julia Hart. The boys' water polo team is about to dive into their season. Scott and Riley take a look at what the team has to offer. This year, the Neuqua Valley water polo team is coming into the season ranked 11th in state. They look to make waves in their sectional this year and get to state for the first time in team history. So the goals for this season are definitely to make it out of the sectional. Uh, we've never made it out before, so um, that's always been our number one goal. And uh, we definitely have the best chance to do it this year, so um, coming into the season, that's definitely our number one goal. If this year's water polo team plans on being the first team in Nequa history to go to state, having a veteran coach like Coach Hofer will certainly help. Um, for me, it'd mean a lot, but not because it's me as a coach. It's because of all the time that my players have put in. Um, it's not me going as a coach, it's the team going in. I think it's going to mean so much to me if we go because of the guys that I'm surrounded with every day that have been working hard in season and off season to get ready to go there. That's going to be the most to me is because it's their dedication that I'm getting to see take us there. The perennial powerhouse, Naperville Central High School, is coming into the season ranked number two in the state. However, Nequa hopes to be the spoiler. Our biggest rival is definitely Naperville Central. Um, last year, they, we definitely gave them a run for their money in uh, one of our tournaments. And uh, coming into this year, they're ranked second. And so on, we're 11th. So, um, you know, we've always had really good games, but uh, this year, they're definitely our number one rival. Good luck to the water polo team this year. And for Wildcat Weekly, along with Riley Ferran, I'm Scott DePew. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. Have a great four day weekend, Wildcats. I'm taking over my body, back in control, no more shoddy. I bet a lot of me was lost, teasing, crossing eyes and dotted. I fought it a lot, and it seems a lot like flesh is all I got. Not anymore, flesh out the door, swat. I must have forgot, you can't trust me. I'm opening my